hello everyone welcome back to my channel thank you guys so much for joining me for today's video which is a little bit different as i am at my oldest sister's house she needed some help decorating and organizing her new pantry as well as decorating a few more areas of her kitchen while doing so on a budget so she asked me if i could help her and of course i said yes so i hope you guys enjoy these ideas and this pantry organization on a budget proving that you don't need a large budget to get something beautiful and make your home cozy and warm. Say something that will make my day. Okay, so to get started, I wanted to show you guys all of the decor items that my sister picked up. She picked all of these items through the course of three Hobby Lobby trips. And honestly, you guys, she got such amazing deals. All three times that we went, we made sure to check the clearance aisles. So she got several pieces 66% off and another handful of them 75% off. So she did a great, every time we went, she gave herself anywhere from $60 to $80 to spend, I believe. And like I said, we did go a total of three times through the course of a month. And this is everything she was able to get and everything on a budget like I said. Okay, so we started by clearing out her pantry. Like I had mentioned, her pantry is a complete new addition to her house. It was actually part of her garage and her husband simply made a cut through from her kitchen to the garage and made this little pantry for her and they did do this on a budget so he used a lot of leftover materials from his job so it wasn't the like best quality however we made do with what we had and we made them work so to cover up the actual plywood that they used for these shelves we just used some black liner and we did staple it around just to cover it and make it look just a little bit nicer and then we did start organizing all of her goodies so for her main items that she used like flour sugar and rice she did purchase these cute little chalk containers from marshall's and they were all really affordable i believe this large one was only 5.99 and the other two smaller ones were around three dollars so not expensive at all and she bought these a while back actually when we first started talking about this pantry makeover and yeah so all i'm doing here is i'm just filling them up and i will be writing flour sugar and rice at the front of the jars where the little chalkboard is but that's mainly what we did and yeah i just think it makes it so much cuter it might not be the most perfect or beautiful pinterest worthy items but we still made it work and my sister was so happy you guys so that's what made all of it worth it but right now like i said i'm just getting these jars ready for her she'd be the one whoa. just tell me why did she go and while we were shopping, my sister was so adamant at finding a basket that she can put her potatoes in. She was so adamant about this. I found it pretty funny, but we did end up finding this basket at Hobby Lobby, 66% off. And we decided to use it to ground this ladder. Um, and all we did is we put her potatoes inside of it and this made her so happy you guys it was just hilarious but it made me happy like I said everything we did just made her happy so it made me happy and right now all we're doing is we are organizing her pantry goodies so she is the queen of snacks and she had so many good snacks it was hard to contain myself and not eat them all while i tried to organize them but we are just using the container she already had in her pantry to organize all of her pantry goods and yeah we did not spend any money on anything else other than those glass chalkboard containers you guys just saw a minute ago we just reused everything she already had but we just made good use of it and we tried to organize all of her goods as best as we could inside of them and we made it work to know that she'd leave us at the night to think that she'd be the one 
And this is the way her pantry turned out after we had organized everything. We made sure to leave all of her like everyday use items towards the front of the shelves. And then we just placed things that she doesn't usually reach for or she had extras of towards the back. Like I said, we tried to make the best use out of the container she already had. So in this basket, we have her canned goods, while in the other one, we have some box goods. Over on this shelf, we organized all of her snacks the best way that we could. So we have chips with chips, we have crackers with crackers, candy with candy, teas with teas, and so on. But I think this worked perfectly for her because she does have two littles and she didn't want them reaching the snacks all the time so this shelf is perfect and then down here she just has her flour rice and sugar and some bigger items at the bottom and now we're getting ready to decorate this ladder because this opening is going to be open so you will be able to see it all the time from her kitchen and her husband did frame the opening later on that day so it just looks so beautiful now but this is how we decorated the shelf we just put this sweet and salty sign up at top and then we placed all of her kitchen towels on the ladder we mixed in some wood elements as well as some greenery and a little galvanized bucket and i absolutely love the way this turned out and i'm so happy that her husband went ahead and framed out the door opening because now it looks so beautiful when you are in her kitchen staring at it it just makes such a statement and you can't really see the shelves on the side so after we were done with her pantry, we did move on over to decorating her kitchen and we started over here on her dining room table. We placed this Lazy Susan she got at Hobby Lobby for around $25. I absolutely love this. And on top of it, we did place this green vase that I gifted her as well as some baby's breath inside of it for some greenery. And on the outside, we placed the mason jar salt and pepper shakers she also got on clearance at Hobby Lobby for like two dollars I believe it was super super incredibly cheap and a little blessed sign and I really like how simple this is however this works for her family like I said she has a little four-year-old boy that likes to grab everything so keeping this nice and simple was essential and it still looks so good and I absolutely love it she did have to place that plastic on her table again because she has kids however the clear plastic just allows you to see her table and it just looks so beautiful and she was so happy with it as she was with everything else so it just really really brightened my day to see her smiling constantly and in this corner we just placed a clear vase with some eucalyptus inside of it and this wall right here again is one of those projects that I loved she sent me an inspiration picture and we just made it come to life Again, a lot of these items were clearance items, but we just played a lot with the white and green color scheme that she had picked out. And we just picked out different sized items like this cute little lamp. We added some greenery. We played with some wood material and it came out so cute. And then over on this wall, we also bought this gather sign from Hobby Lobby or she actually bought this gather sign from Hobby Lobby for around $10. And it just looks so cute here in her kitchen. And the last corner we decorated with this little corner and it looks so cute. But that was everything for this decorate with me, you guys. I hope you enjoyed seeing what we did to my sister's pantry and kitchen on a budget. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you have not. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.